All right, last night the Cavs absolutely routed the Utah Jazz in in Cleveland. Final score of 122 to 99. Some familiar faces coming back to Cleveland as Colin Sexton, Lowry Markinen, and Jordan Clarkson uh, with their homecomings to Cleveland after be, uh, uh, Markinen and Sexton were traded to Utah, and Jordan Clarkson is just there. I think uh, Sexton was out with an injury, so they didn't see him play in this game, and maybe uh, that might have changed things because we've seen Colin Sexton playing with a chip on his shoulder before, and it can certainly be a spectacle when he does and when he's successful. Uh, Lamar Stevens was out with some knee soreness, so Isaac Okoro took his spot in the starting five. First quarter, competitive at first. Donovan Mitchell seemed to be uh, keyed in for shooting as always, but he definitely seemed to be uh, definitely on his A game to start this one. Jared Allen all over the rim, including a thunder slam dunk off of a Darius Garland pick and roll. Nice play there. Cavs grab momentum at the end of the first quarter. Garland getting a Utah defender to jump for an and one. And after the first quarter, the Cavs were up by eight. In the second quarter, Karis LeVert hitting an insane corner three-pointer on Larry Markin with the shot clock running down. Darius Garland kind of having a nice game, shooting the ball very well. Cleveland began really taking control of the game as the second quarter would move along. Jared Allen continuing to just be all over the rim and slam dunking everything in the second quarter. Uh, Larry Markin was having a good offensive game for the, for the Utah in in the second quarter, doing some good stuff, but really the Cavs just kind of pouring it on here. Late Garland 3, putting the Cavs up by 18 at the half. Uh, and after the halftime, didn't really get much better for Utah, but the Cavs continue to roll along. More Cavs dominance. Isaac Okoro with a vicious fast break dunk. Evan Mobley slamming one over Jordan Clarkson. I think Jarrett Allen got one over Markinen earlier in the game too. Jarrett Allen getting some more in. If I had to go over every slam dunk in, in detail and, and going for it, this, this video would be like 15 minutes long. As much as that, that might be fun, but it might not be the, the most efficient video to make. Uh, the Cavs lead would get to over 20 in the third quarter. Uh, the Utah would the Utah, the Jazz would kind of uh, lower it a little bit, but the Cavs led by 19 after the third quarter. There were no doubts about this game he after halftime heading into the fourth, and the Cavs pretty much bringing out the bench for the fourth quarter, kind of easing up on the gas a little bit, but it also is just, you know, giving getting your uh, starters some rest there. And then if you thought the game was going to lose a complete interest, Shetty Osmond decides to drop 20 points in the fourth quarter out of 32 total points in that quarter for the Cavs. Shetty Osmond only with two points heading into that quarter, so uh, he just went off in the fourth. He was, he, you know, if, if the game wasn't already over, Seti Osman definitely put the uh, the cherry on top, the exclamation point, whatever you want to call it, on this game. Uh, the Cavaliers just shooting the lights out of the of this game in general against Utah. They the only Cavaliers players with less than 50% shooting were Kevin Love and Robin Lopez, and they only had four combined shots between the two of them. So it's not like they were relying on them, relying on them for a ton of offense. Uh, the Cavs as a team were better than 60% shooting in general and better than 57% from three. That is definitely going to win you a lot of games in the NBA. Uh, former Cavaliers Larry Markkinen and Jordan Clarkson had some pretty good offensive games for the Jazz. Uh, that was pretty much it for them. Not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of fight back from the Jazz with just uh, a worse roster. And again, Colin Sexton dealing with injury. And they had some other injury issues as well. Jarrett Allen with a 20-point, 11 rebound, a double-double. Again, like I've said earlier, he was a beast. He was all around the paint, all around the rim. He was also 6-for-6 six six on free throw, so that's good for him. I can't really point to any Cavalier player in this game and thought maybe they could have played better or, or had any uh, issues with their game at all. I just thought that... Uh, pretty much everyone who stepped foot on the floor for the Cavs had their own contributions to make, and even if it wasn't much, uh, it was definitely more than enough to win here. Uh, Markkinen with a game high of 24 points, although you think if the game was maybe a little more competitive or the Cavs starters got some more minutes, maybe somebody like Donovan Mitchell definitely takes that because Donovan Mitchell had... Uh, he had a bunch of points and very limited minutes for him. He was on pace to have a, a crazy night. But again, the game got out of hand. No reason to uh, put your starters in minutes where maybe they might you know, be, be at risk of injury or just tiring out or anything like that. So good for the Cavs to be able to, to get out of the get out ahead of a game early, let the starters get some rest for a while, let the bench get in and do their thing, because again, the bench was was pretty good, obviously, Chetty Osmond putting up the points that he did. I thought Isaac Okoro did did a pretty good job uh, filling in that starting role with Lamar Stevens out. He had uh, enough of an offensive contribution that he wasn't a complete liability, which, which is all I want to see from Isaac Okoro as far as an offensive standpoint. He is more of that uh, defensive shutdown guy that he adds to the lineup, and overall, this was an amazing game for the Cavs. No complaints from me here. Hopefully, they can 
can continue to look like this against inferior opponents moving forward and maybe not the last couple of games we've seen against uh, Indiana and Dallas where it looks like they just kind of got they're, they're kind of skating by on just being just a little bit better than the teams are playing this game was definitely uh, they they got out ahead early and they just did not put their foot off of the gas pedal except for when they even when the bench came in uh, the bench was definitely balling out too hopefully this con is a trend that continues for the Cavs moving forward thank you all for watching if you made it this far into the video please feel free, free to leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed it let me know if you have something to say down in the comments below I will see you at the next one